Welcome. I am your shadow mistress, back with more bone-chilling true tales from the shadow realm. We just moved into a new house, a fixer-upper that needed a lot of work. When one of the walls was taken apart, we found something unusual. It was the backing of a beautifully carved chair, and it was resting inside of the wall. We put it aside and continued to renovate. Later, we came across a boarded up storage space, and when we removed the boards, we found the seat to the chair and the four legs. We thought this was strange, but the chair looked very fancy, like a fancy antique, so my son and I decided to put it together. After some polishing and refinishing, the chair looked great. We put it by the front door so that it was the first thing people would see when they walked in. Everyone remarked at how beautiful a piece of antique furniture it was. Funny thing is, I never let anyone sit in it. I became so guarded of it and cleaned it all the time. I told everyone who came over never sit in it. One night my husband, who mocked my warning, sat in the chair. His eyes immediately had a blank look, almost as if he was in a trance. He fell very ill with the flu and had to be admitted to the hospital for a few days. I knew it was the chair that caused it, so I decided to get rid of it. I had it authenticated by an art dealer who dated the chair to the 1400s and was perplexed at how it found its way to this part of the country. I decided to put it up on an online auction and when I took a photo for the website, there was an eerie mist lingering around the chair. It sold for a nice price at the auction and I shipped it off the next day. The identity of the buyer was anonymous and I don't know where the chair is today, but I'm glad to be rid of it. Hope you enjoyed that true tale from the Shadow Realm. If you want your story read, email us. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.